6 heures. Jen's first day on the mountain, we were together 28 years ago, and now we have an opportunity to try it all over again. OK, here we go. I'm nervous about the living situation a little bit because I haven't done this before, and I'm definitely nervous about sleeping in bear-filled woods. What's this thing for? Why is this here? That's a bat box. Well, the bats can land right here and go up in here because we don't want them going into the building because they like oh, to hide in the building yeah. and stuff. And so so this why would you attract the bats here? Well, it's not attract. The bats are already attracted here because bat cave's just down the road Look, a little a bit. There's a spider right there. Hmm? No more spider. A lot rides on this, and it feels like stepping off of a cliff. There's excitement with that, but yet there's some hesitation and fear. OK, here I go. Going in. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home, Jen. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, welcome well, to your humble abode. Here's the bed. <laughs> the Here's the kitchen. Yeah. Here's the commode. Right next to the fridge. <laughs> None of it. All your pots and pans, everything you need. Where am I going to cook, though? Where would I use a pot and pan? Oh, I've got a little stove outside that I put on the chopping block. Like it hooks up with propane. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so tiny. So I need a lot more space. I don't know. It's just, I mean, out of my element. You know, this is definitely far from the beach and the spa, but I expected to lose my conveniences. It's just a reality of how different it is. The toilet is right next to the bed. What if you have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night? Yeah. I'll go outside. I'll go outside. Or you can go outside. I'm not going outside. Why not? It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm not going outside and waiting in the dark. Were you scared to go outside? Yeah, definitely. I'm scared of little things. There's no little things you have to worry about. I've got it all snakes. handled. I think I've got rid of my <laughs> all the snakes. <laughs> Like, there's no getting, there's no like, okay, I'm just moving to another part to just kind of have my space. You may want a lot of things, but you not necessarily need them. You may want a big house, but I've always heard that big homes are for unhappy people. They don't want to look at each other. We have everything of your, uh, that you have at home right here. I have a really nice bathtub. I have a bathtub out there. Oh, outside? Yeah. I've got a nice mirror, like a full-length mirror. Like, sometimes if I put clothes on, I like to see what they look like. Well, I can take that off the wall and hold it up and down. So look at yourself. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You got a solution for everything. I'm going to try to. OK. I want you to be used to being here, you know? Jen's struggle with the way the cabin is set up makes me understand a little more of what we might need. But I personally can get by, and I believe Jen's going to learn she can, too, and that you don't need a whole lot. You just need a whole lot of each other. So Daniel is that way? Yeah. Would we get eggs from him right here? Yeah. Here? He has arugula and all Ooh. kinds of great stuff growing there. Ooh. People that live on the mountain typically are hunters typically have some sort of garden, and everything is completely organic. You know what you're getting. Look at all your stuff. Oh, yeah, wow. check that out. You're growing this stuff nice. Daniel has an array of vegetables on his little farm. Sometimes we trade deer meat and bear meat for some of the things that he has. Well, man, that looks like a fair trade. I'm loving everything the mountain has to offer. Thank you, brother. Yes, sir. But I'm feeling a little stressed out about spending my first night in the shack. Yeah. What are you thinking? Well, I am hesitating. I mean, I'm here, but being at the shack feels it's in my face now. It's not an idea. Now it's actually in my face. Well, I mean, I thought the decision was for you to come up here and 
you know. It is. Battle it out and stay in the shack. Yeah, but what if I go stay with Mama? Charlie's mom has a house on the mountain. It's a normal house with a great king-size bed. It's soft and comfortable and warm. It would be really easy for me to just go stay with Peg. It feel like you're kind of trying to hide, hide from facing. No, but I need a little bit of understanding of where I'm at. I think that this small space is a great place to be in each other's faces, you know, to figure it out, have discussions, and there's nowhere to run and hide. It's still a pretty big step. I get it. I made a step getting on the plane. You know I want to be here with you. This is about me, like, being all in. That's exactly right. You know, you can't be on both sides of the fence. Well, I think we need to face our fears. What fears are you facing? The fact that you may leave. That's my biggest fear. My fears are I come here and I make the effort to do all this stuff and we don't work out as well. Or you don't you decide you don't want to commit. That's a fear. I still say we gotta, you know, grab the bull by the horns and I mean you're a no nonsense person. That's why I'm laying it out there. You gotta lay it out in the shack, not at mama's house. I told you I'm undecided. If, you know, you're going to stay one night, you might as well stay every night over there and come and visit. But we could do it that way. I don't think we can do it that way. We could do that on the phone. I want to be able to look in your eyes, especially before you go to sleep. And then when you wake up in the morning, it's day two, day three, day four. Jen staying with mom is developing a crutch for Jen to run to when the times get hard. And, you know, I want to be her knight in shining armor. I wanted her to run to me. The goal of life on the mountain is not life on the mountain with my mama. It's life on the mountain with me. We, we, we spent this time, we've made all these decisions to be here with me. And here you go, you're lollygagging around. I'm, I'm nervous, but I do want to. All you got to do is say yes. I know I'm here to live in the shack and see what I can you know, how I can figure this mountain thing out. So, are you staying at Mama's house tonight, or are you staying here with me? I'm going to stay with you. I've decided. I'm deciding to stay the night with Charlie in the shack because that's what I'm here for. I need to take on this challenge and overcome my hesitancy and my fear, and I just need to rip the mandate off and, and get over to the shack and start living like that. <laughs> 우주에서 가장 재미있는 채널 디스커버리.